Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Saman here, your grammar teacher. Today we are going to see some of the practical tips to develop communication skills. In my previous video, I told you the four stages that you go through whenever you learn any new skill. Now I'm going to tell you some of the practical tips that you have to implement in your life if you want to develop good communication skills. So let's start with it. This is the definition of communication. Communication is the activity or process of expressing ideas and feelings or of giving people information and instructions. It, communication is a two-way process. You share your ideas and thoughts, whatever in, uh, insight in your mind, you share it with the other person. And the way you share it with the other person is depends on your communication skill, that how good your communication skills are, how good you are in conveying your ideas and thoughts and that's how uh, this is the thing that you have to develop in yourself everybody can communicate but the way uh, he communicates uh, that matter that is it good or bad like you have you must have seen that there are many people who have a lot of good ideas inside their mind they have wonderful ideas but they don't know how to communicate with the other person they don't know how to express to the other person so if you want to um, express your ideas and thoughts in a good way that is called communication skills and you have to, and you need to learn these skills because you have to develop you can't uh, you can't say that um, a person is a born communicator no you have to learn the skill in order to develop in yourself so let's start with it uh, i'm going to tell you some of the practical tips and this uh, this also going this is also going to help you out in your learning english if your priority is learning english then it's also going to help you out how you can learn English, how you can improve your English. So uh, number first is, number first practical tip is immersion. What is the meaning of immersion? Immersion means to immerse yourself, to engross yourself, immerse yourself completely in learning the skill. If you want to learn anything, if you want to learn any skill, then you have to work hard for that. You have to completely immerse the inside let's suppose it also depends upon your priorities like if your priority is getting good grades in school then definitely you are going to work day and night and um, to get the good grades if your priority is having a good communication skill then you are going to study more books you are going to listen to the good communicators you are going to uh, search for the communicators or the speakers who are very good you are going to search the internet you are going to immerse yourself in such things that will help you out in development of your communication skill this is called immersion and immersion also compensates lack of early exposure let's suppose um, in your childhood you uh, you were not exposed to the reading or you were not exposed to the facilities you don't have the you didn't have the books or the internet or the school you didn't go to school so um, it doesn't mean that uh, you can't learn anything now you have all the facilities now you can immerse yourself in that in the skill that you want to achieve and uh, this compensates your lack of early exposure let's suppose you don't know how to read and write in your childhood uh, you you, uh, you didn't have the facility to read and write but now you have the facility you have the internet you can search from there you have the books you have the library so you can completely immerse yourself in reading and that's how you can learn it so immersion is the first practical tip that you have to immerse yourself in order to gain something. Okay, the second tip is VMR. What is VMR? VMR is visual mental rehearsal. It means learn to train your mind by visualizing the real scenario. It means that you have to train your mind in such a way that when the real scenario will come in front of you, it, uh, you won't be shy it will not be difficult for you to uh, confront it let's suppose if you want to give a speech in front of the audience or you want to conduct a show in front of the audience you need to uh, train your mind in such a way so that when the real scenario will come it will be very easy for you let's suppose just train your mind that uh, imagine here your imagination counts a lot if you imagine that you are standing in front of the thousand audiences and you are giving a speech in front of them and you are uh, this is this is your imagination you are training your mind that you are standing in front of the audience and you are speaking in front of them and you are giving a lecture or you are giving a speech in front of them 
you it means that you are training your mind if you will train your mind in such a way then when the real scenario will come when the real the event will come then it then you won't be shy this will give you confidence that before that when you will train your mind it will help you to uh, lessen your fear now you will not be fearful in the stage or in front of the audience because you have trained your mind in such a way so uh, this is a very practical example or the tip that you ha- you should uh, go for the rehearsal if you want to do anything in front of uh, anybody not uh, it's not only on the stage if you want to say some words to your friend or to any other person you you are Uh, you are hesitating then visualize it that you are saying these words to the other person that's how you can train your mind so when you will go uh, when in reality when you will go in front of him then it will not be be difficult for you to convey your thoughts and ideas so that's how you can train your mind so this is the second practical tip and the third one is play the game this is the most important tip because here um, all your efforts come over here play the game is learn to participate and gain experience if you will not play the game you won't learn anything like in class uh, if you know the answer do raise your hands and give your answer don't be shy that my answer will be wrong or what the other people are going to say this is none of your business if your answer is wrong then it's okay it's fine uh, it is said that to err is human so uh, always Uh, play the game if you will not play the game you are not going to learn anything experience is very important you need to experience uh, each and every situation you have to play the game one of my colleague um, is there she uh, she i asked her that how you um, how you can drive a car very smoothly she said that um, actually i always play the game and i always used to uh, take my car to the place where it is very rushy or where it is very crowded i always take my car over to that place so that i can learn so how you can learn you can learn by playing the game if you will not play the game then you are not going to learn any skill or anything in your life so do have the experience and do play the game this is the third practical uh, tip and it is one of the most important tip and the last one is review review means review your mistakes and avoid them in future if you should not be fearful that um, i should not say these words in front of the other person because they will think that uh, i'm making mistakes or i might um, say something bad or i might make a mistake and somebody is going to laugh at me you should not be fearful of these thoughts you should review your mistake and how you can review there are many methods i i'm going to tell you in another um video in which i'm going to tell you how you can review your mistakes the the one that i can tell you that record your sound in your mobile and then listen to it again and again that's how you can uh, rectify yourself so uh, whenever you make any mistake then don't be fearful just review it just see and uh, the next time and make a promise to yourself the next time i'm not going to do this again so that's how you learn it's okay to make mistakes but to uh, you should avoid them in the future so that's how you can review and this is the fourth practical tip so here i uh, told you four practical tips and you should um, practically do these tips so that it will be easy for you to learn uh, communication skills okay this is the message of the day and the message of the day is communication is the solvent of all problems and is the foundation for personal development teacher shepherd okay now uh, communication is uh, definitely if you are good in communication you will solve the problem very easily and this problem solving also helps you to develop your personality uh, communication is just not the sharing of the ideas and thoughts it helps you to develop your personality also so it is the foundation for personal development so this is the message of the day so take care allah hafiz